Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how to take control of your emotional wellness. I actually am doing an ebook on this very subject, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but I also want to at least get a, sort of like a, a, an introduction to it or some very simple methods to learning that our emotional wellness is just as important as any other part of our wellness. And so most people, when they think of wellness, they think of physical wellness and how we look and how we feel physically in order to basically determine if we're healthy or not. And although that is an important aspect of health and wellness, one of the most, if not the most important, is how you think. And so emotional wellness is about not only controlling your emotions, but also understanding that your mind impacts your emotions, your emotions impact your mind, and therefore it ultimately impacts your entire body. And so I'm going to give you three easy ways to assess your emotional wellness. Number one is determine if you are fluctuating frequently through emotions, where one day you're high in terms of um, happiness, the next day you're low in terms of sadness, and you can't somewhat determine what is causing that emotional regulation or uh, where you're not regulating your emotions, where you can't determine what's causing. So you're not certain as to what the core reason is on your own as to what is going on emotionally. Number two, you want to be able to make sure that your relationships are healthy. So you're determining, are you in the most healthiest relationships to support your emotional wellness? And so you do an assessment of who is in your circle. And for those of who have already missed it, I did a video on three people that you should have in your life and then three types of personalities you should try to stay clear of. And so you can go back to those videos to actually see the actual examples of who was in your circle. So first you wanna do an assessment of where your moods are, up and down, how frequent, that's number one. And then number two, you wanna know who was in your circle. And last but not least, you want to create the environment of health, which for emotional wellness is actually determining what makes you happy, what types of things you like to do to get your happiness, elevated or to get your mood elevated in a positive direction. So for example, what you might say is, I absolutely love to read or I absolutely love to meditate and it calms me, but it also gives me a sense of gratitude and a moment to actually think of the things that make me happy about the day. And so that becomes an action you have to take to be able to be your best self or be able to deal with your emotional wellness. So number one, you wanna just assess where your mood is up or down. And if you don't know why find out why and a good tip for finding out why if you can't do it on your own it's always okay to go and get some support either my preference would be that especially when you're dealing in the world of emotions is that you start with a therapist and or a life coach uh, therapist being first in terms of if it is something severe and or related to trauma the next thing i would say is make sure that you assess your circle who are you surrounded with who is feeding you good or bad and again go back to the videos if you want to check out more information on that and then last but definitely not least make sure that you take the steps you need to be your best self to be your happiest self by knowing what makes you happy and then doing it that step is kind of a one and is a, a, a three a and b but knowing and doing what makes you happy will be an indicator of the improvement of your emotional wellness. That is very general. I hope you guys will check out my ebook um, on taking charge of your emotional wellness. It will be coming soon.